You're gonna owe money, and you're not gonna be able to get out of that hole once I'm done with it. Oh, this is gonna go very Turn. terribly. No, it's not. It looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh. Oh, really? What? Bigby's here. Oh. I'm just here for information. It's about the murders. This'll take two minutes and I'll be out your way. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a You know what? Maybe, maybe I can help, Mr. Okay, Toad. Well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey. Wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was Faith's coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinkered rules. If a witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help you out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this whole bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loans. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running in? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. Funny you should mention that. Because it's exactly why I'm here. You want a loan? I didn't really think you the type. Well, first, tell me. How does it work? You know, um, I'm sorry, Bigby, but I really shouldn't be talking about this with you. You know this is a fucking crooked man place, right? Toad? He uses fancy boys like Jack here to squelch the honest businessman. Force him to lay on credit into servitude. High interest isn't servitude. And nobody's complained before. Who'd listen? Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, Toad. Fuck off. Leave the <laughs> How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, you know. You know what? I, I want to help the guy out. I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... I've never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. Oh, come on, man. I just wanted to help this. you out. Can't you at least you got a kid. A hat, you, you, you got know? a place, you know. To tell the difference. Times are tough. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man. Who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by any time. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? He really grows on you. I just want to help the guy look, out. He doesn't want my charity. You I work that here, sucks. I do, okay? So don't look so surprised. And before you yeah, ask, I'm not. I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. And the last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? That and Beauty's loan she took out. She told you about that. Yep. And now you're gonna tell me about it. Look, people get desperate, and when you're drowning, anything that isn't sinking along with you looks like a life raft. The crooked man gives, and he wants things in return. And when you don't pay up, bad stuff happens. Why do you think I'm- Yeah, I, I kinda got a that. credit card fraud never hurt anybody. I should know. Bad stuff. You mean he kills him? Or worse, 
Simple Simon tried to open up a bakery, took out a loan to help with the expense, but when he started getting laid on the payments, the crooked man put him into one of the pies and served it to a litter of alley cats. That's At pretty hardcore. That's I, I Listen, gotta give him props I gotta on start that. Closing up shop, so uh, close. It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours, and really, he'd be the one to talk to. So, uh, can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in. So, uh, what else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho, and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here, but I can call you when he comes back. All right? Can't you shut just... up, Jack? The Jersey Devil is. Oh, I can't wait to meet questions. this guy. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. I'm gonna take a look around, as long as I've got the elbow room. All right. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. I mean, I, I guess that's fair. I don't, I'm not really trying to hassle Jack. No, I'm not trying to get in anyone's way. Oh, hey. Just my luck. <laughs> Pointless. Ooh, what's this? Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, How am I gonna okay, touch then. it in a display case? I mean, fair enough. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? Odd uh, connection. All right, let, let's keep looking. We got jewelry. We got jewels. Uh, I guess this is what they're saying about the top price for gold and silver. Decent acquisitions. You said you'd never take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... Jack? Uh, yeah? When was Mary here? Was who here? Bloody Mary. Because the axe was here. But it's gone. And she had it. So she was here. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... And even when I do work, I just try to keep my head down. Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? It was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She sometimes comes in to pick up shit. Did she say anything about... about the crooked man's plans? About Crane? What? You think we're friends? I try not to even look that crazy chick in the eye. Well, for your sake, you better think of something to tell me. That's all I can tell you. I'm being straight here. I'm just part-time. I mean, it's Jersey who's the one who's into this stuff. He's one of the crooked man's boys, okay? And it'd be great if he was here to tell you all this, but he's not. So just... Jersey, don't... don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just that gonna... my fucking... But you... you're the guy who makes sure I'm that... the guy to keep shit in order, and that's it, Woody. Who closed the fucking gate? Jack? Is that the Jersey Devil? I love your axe so fucking much. Why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. And Grinch said that he saw it here. Now tell me where it is right fucking now. It's Jersey, right? Jersey Devil? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Bigby? What is his axe even here? Nope. It isn't. Just like I said, it's not here. Happy? And you. I can't believe you'd even show your face in here. After what you did to our guy, Tweedledum. So tell me what you're here for, or get the Wait, fuck out. Wait, that's the Jersey Devil? Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting this. Actually, you know what? I don't care what he wanted. You're dealing with me now, okay? Until I give you permission, you're not gonna do anything but answer my questions. How's your arm? Bloody Mary leaves a bit of a stink, don't she? Jack, did you know that as of this very morning, Bigby's joined the Crooked Man's Obedience School for wayward fucking creatures? He's already passed his first class. 
You see, the sheriff had who he stupidly thought was the murderer. Been chasing him for fucking days, right? But the crooked man snapped his bony fingers. And Bigby handed him over, just like that. I'm, uh, just gonna, uh, let you two, you know. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything you know right now about the murders and the crooked man. Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> you piece of shit. <clears throat> cool it, Woody. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Will you get out of here? Go home. Not until this fucker gives me my axe. Oof. <laughs> Where's my axe? Listen, I just want to calm down. Um. I mean, seriously, it's like Woody. Help me out here. You can both like go get Bloody Mary, and you know it will all well be cool. Except I doubt she's gonna. Whoa. Okay, I was not ready for this. That's pretty fucked up! Jesus Christ! Um, I was not ready for that today! It was gonna be a slow part, but but goddamn, this is all right. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I have to say, pretty good rendition of the Jersey Devil. Was not expecting it, but it's totally badass. I'm fine with this. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Man, I feel like this is just how Big B says hello to it. Like, all these. Oh my god, that fuck. <laughs> how would you. How could this happen to me? Dude! Hey, asshole. I found her. Oh uh, yeah, totally, totally need to throw this at this guy. What? What? <laughs> no, I, 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 I did, I did, I did the thing, and um, one second. I was no ready to. I was not ready for that. Okay, all right, we got this. We play, just gonna uh, do the thing with the thing. Hey, asshole, I found her. <laughs> all right, okay, that did it. I'm surprised he didn't shatter the bus. Gotta be honest, thought that would have totally worked, but uh, uh, whatever. Honestly, was not expecting this guy to be the Jersey Devil, but you know, I, I guess looks can be completely deceiving. So, wanna try again? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. There's no address, no place. He lives in the bends and forks of tree roots, behind the sun, in the <coughs> shadows. 
That's not good enough. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. That fucking guy. <laughs> oh, mirror, mirror. <laughs> Convince me that I should trust you. Would this face lie to you? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. I mean, personally... That useless bitch, Snow White, and a broken fucking mirror. Where did you hear it got broken? Oh, that. Gossip flies fast. We're like a sewing circle. It doesn't matter what you fucking do. You're not gonna get him. You wanna knock on his fucking door and see what happens? Well, Fuck. personally, I just kinda Crane wanna find out where Bloody Mary lives. Bloody Mary had Crane. So take your fucking wrecking crew act to the butcher shop. The cut above. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the crooked man. That's her spot. That's where all the magic happens. So, is Woody like my I'll best friend now? So I can find some aspirin. Oh, oh. He ain't going anywhere. Will Mary be there? You want me to draw you a picture? I don't fucking know. You got what you want. Now get the fuck Wait out of here. Wait a second. I need to. I need to talk about um. Beauty and the Beast's loan. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did. But I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Well, the real question is, why did he want them dead? Out of smoke? Like, what do they know that I don't? I mean, I guess now that we're best friends, you might as well help take my cigarette. Thanks. Shitty brand. Hey, don't insult my cigarette, Bran. I gave you one. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Oh, we're gonna have that kind of friendship, aren't we? Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. Alright, go do it then. Well, if Woody believes in us, then that has to mean something, right? Probably not. Hey, Woody. Yeah? What are you gonna do now? We all got our role to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. What does Woody do when he's not, like, in the bar or whatever? I mean, we're just in a city. There's, like, no woods. I can't imagine him being a lumberjack. Thank you.